Welcome back, comrades. Commissar Bro here with, you know, <laughs> civilization beyond Earth. Uh, one of my comrades brought up a great suggestion. We shouldn't call it Djibouti. We should call it New Djibouti. And you know what? Why not just go ahead and call it Nova Djibouti? Because it sounds so proper. Yes. Proper, prime, and pretty. So on, so forth. So, my amount of time I've actually put into this game has increased significantly. I know a lot better how to do certain things uh, and which way to go. I'm definitely going to go this way first, get central planning so we get that extra moolah. And uh, hopefully we can keep up with the AI as far as it goes. I think what I'm going to do for this series is I'm actually just going to do 20 turns every time. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we definitely want to increase health. I'm a big health guy. Definitely. Um, and we'll just do 30, t or excuse me, 20 turns every video. Maybe 30 turns if um, it's not long enough. <laughs> because I don't want a bunch of really short uh, episodes. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> So you're probably really curious about the game, like, you know, what kind of things really go on compared to Civ 5? What makes this worth $50? Blah, 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 blah. The world is vast and beautiful. Be welcome for this plenty for all. Nice to meet you, Samatar Jamabare. Yes, of the African Union. Anyway. Well, to point out first... I know if I didn't make it clear enough in my last video, um, this does not feel so far removed. It feels a lot cleaner, and uh, definitely there's a there's a certain vision here you can tell, and the futuristic vibe and aesthetic is very present. It's very what's ours is yours. For sure, words. I like you. I like this guy, this Polystralia guy. Let's work together. But uh, anyway. Yeah, it's it's very very present. It's very nice. Not that it's super unique compared to any other uh, futuristic setting that's ever been done before, but <clears throat> it's definitely fun. It's <coughs> it's definitely a lot of excitement, um, mildly terrifying at times, especially when you see something as majestic as the siege worm, which wants your sweet sweet blood. That's right. Oh, by the way, we just picked ecology. We're picking ecology because I want to get that vivarium, which gives me plus two food, um, which is something I feel like I'm going to need, especially considering I don't even have a worker yet. So, ooh, develop another virtue. Let's see. What can we do now? Hmm. <laughs> Let's do scalable infrastructure. It gives us plus 15 production towards wonders. Um, Wonders is always a big way in how I play various games. In this game, um, a lot of the Wonders aren't as mighty as they are in Civ 5 or even Civilization 4, for that matter. Um, but they still pack quite a punch. Like, they can have quite the effect, especially when coupled with other passive bonuses over time. Oh, looks like we discovered a new station. <laughs> Hakima Station. Basically, the stations, what you can do is they're there to be traded with. So as we start to get along and become more uh, advanced, as it were, and a little bit bigger, we'll be able to uh, afford, essentially, uh, trade convoys, which we can then send between either these stations, other cities, or even our own cities, which then provide a bonus of science, gold, if between stations and other cities or if you do it between uh, just your cities it can provide a food or um, an actual uh, production bonus let's see hmm let's see do we want to do food or work speed I think we'll do food just to make sure we're getting enough food damn right All right, turn 40, and turn 41. Meh. We didn't really accomplish much today. So let's go ahead and just, we'll go four more turns. We'll get to turn 45, 
and uh, see if anything else exciting happens. Um, what should we focus on? I'm thinking thorium reactor. Yeah, I like. I I really like having a lot of money in this game. I feel like it's very very beneficial overall. It you may by doing it, I'm not focusing on things I could be focusing on, but hey, it's I feel like it's going to have a pretty big uh, hit in the future. And aside from that, we're actually going to start going towards genetic design because I want to get that ectogenesis pod, which is a wonder that provides three food and three production and could be very significant in Nova Djibouti's growth. And that's definitely the most important thing to me is making Djibouti grow. We appear to share a benevolent approach towards the alien life on this planet. Long may it remain so. Yes, yes, indeed, Eladui. Yes, yes, Eladi, whatever your name is. Eladai, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, <laughs> so this has been part two, and uh, my name's Commissar Bro. Stay tuned. Part three will be coming very soon, because I would much like to really get raring and going with this bad boy. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.